Good day to all you glorious demon hunter bastards. My name is Fox Soul. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video on Wallet May Cry, the game that tries to separate you from your cash. So that way your wallet can cry. <laughs> now, as you can see, we got my desktop up right now. And I'm going to be honest with you. This is a little bit of a different type of video than normal. Um, this was actually a request video because some people apparently do not know how to install the emulator on PC so they could play this on PC. So that's what today's video is about. Let's get started. As you see, we're on the official website for Del McRae with uh, Nebula Joy and they used to have on here, they used to have right about where this, right next to the official APK right here, a uh, emulator. Well, apparently they took it off the official website. So for whatever reason, maybe it was a, I don't know, maybe a possibility that it was, you know, some kind of legal thing. Oh no, don't care. But what I'm going to tell you is what you want to do is you want to go to a website called LD player. Now, there's multiple emulators out there. There's Knox, and there's Blue Stacks and stuff like this, which all works very well, I believe. But I'm going to go with the one that they officially were using on the official website. This is the one I started with. And actually, I got used to it. It's pretty good. I like it. And when you go to ldplayer.net, you'll be greeted with this. You download LP Player 9. I don't know, really, if there's a big difference between 5 and 9. But the one version that we have right now is nine. So you click on this, you download it. Once you download it, you'll install it. Now, when installing it, it'll open this up. It'll give you a little bit of a splash screen type deal. You know, it shows Del May Cry. It'll show something else sometimes. And then you'll be presented with this. And just like your phone, if you were running on Android phone, you can come right here to straight up to games, type in Devil May Cry. And it will go ahead, it'll pull up Pika Combat. You got like three of them. You click on it. You can go ahead, install it just like anything else. And then once it's installed, you're good to go. That is practically the entire tutorial in less than two minutes. That, that, that's pretty much what I got for you. However, we're going to go a little bit on to the emphasis of setting up things now for me my system that i'm running this on i have a 40 uh actually i have a 3060 in this system the 46 is in another system oh look another follower okay let that finish thank you for following sir but over here in the top right corner there's these three little lines not sure if you'll be able to see it on the screen but it says menu and you can pop up a menu right here. I go to settings and then right here, you'll be greeted with like tablet mode, which would be like 1280 by 720, 1920 by 1080. You could do that if you like. Um, I find it's not as clear as a resolution as I like it for my personal taste. So you can mess with the settings here. For me, we got a 380, uh, 380, 40 by 2160, which is your 4K. We got our DPI, uh, our DPI at four, uh, 640, and our CPU is at four cores, which is recommended. But I actually went ahead and I decided to give the RAM a little bit of a boost because we got 32 gigs of RAM on my system. For you, you may want to keep it at the recommended four, uh, four megabytes. From there, you can determine what manufacturer kind of phone you're using, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can even go ahead. We have it set to 60 FPS for default. It doesn't seem like that changes any which way, shape, form. So I would not touch this. I wouldn't put it to 4 to 120. You set your primary audio drivers. When it comes to the network, just leave it alone. It should work unless you don't need to bridge it. That may be something future-wise you may want to look into if you're having issues with connections or something. But I don't have no issues with any kind of network connection or whatever. So I don't have nothing bridged. It is disabled. It is not disconnected from the network. Shortcuts are right here shows you what all the shortcuts are, whether you can zoom in, zoom out, take screenshots, blah, blah, blah. Wallpaper, all this other stuff. Not worried about none of that. Now, what I'm worried about is when we open up Peak McCry, 
<laughs> Did I just call it peak me cry? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that's Wallet May Cry for you. Everything here at this point, you'll be able to come up here to your little icon, little face icon right here, and click in, put in your information so that way you can, you know, log into the game. Very simple, very easy. All that good stuff. So let's just click in, let's log in real quick. And voila, we're in. Now, what I completely recommend at this point in time is before you go into full screen and everything else, go to your settings real quick. Go to your custom setup. This right here, if we go ahead, we're in custom setup one. Let's go to custom setup two. Let's go to custom setup three. As you can see, this is custom setup three. This is what your default mobile phone controls look like. You can move the buttons around, all that stuff necessary. You can make it look however you want to make it look. For me, what I ended up doing, I was went with, let's see, no, I don't want to save. I put everything like pretty much on the side right here to try to keep away from the main screen because if we're going to live stream this, I don't want to show big ass buttons on the screen. And behind my head right here is actually the analog stick. Um, let me go ahead and give me one quick second and I'm going to show you this. See, I know I have this master. Yeah, it should be this one. As you can see right here, analog stick. So let's put my cringe back. Uh, let me put my cringe VTuber crap back on. And yeah, very simple, very easy to go ahead and move all the buttons and everything, right? But what I want you to do is if you're here and you're wanting to use a controller, so I use a PS5 controller. Um, plug it in. Your emulator at the very top up here is going to show a little icon, which I'm highlighting, which I know is very, very fucking tiny, and you can barely see it probably on the video, but there's an icon that says Gamepad is connected. So right here, there's a couple of different icons that's on the right-hand side, and right here at the second icon is called Key Mapping. We click on Key Mapping, and we click on the little controller icon, and voila. This is where you embed your controls. You just click on the screen, you click whatever button it is on your controller that you want to operate, and then that button now becomes maps to your controller. It has it set for where you could add analog stacks. It shows you right here, control the move direction of games, control the 3D rotation of, you know, the screen, blah, blah, blah. Now for me, I have certain buttons set in certain locations. Like you'll see the left joystick down right here. That is for when the story modes is. You can click that to where you can just automatically do the little run. I have right control stick down right here and I have RB here. And the reason why these guys are right here for in particular is because there's certain segments where you got to, you know, accept this little thing right here to continue onwards. You know, it's like the little menu screen says, hey, do you want to continue? You press yes. So instead of me having to click it with the mouse, I click it with RB. The reason why I have right analog stick down right here in the middle of the screen right here is because the game does have it set to where if you're playing boss raid and an, uh, one of your partners goes down, you can click this. I use this to click down so that way I don't have to click the screen. My thumbstick, I push the right thumbstick down. Boom. There you go. I'm now picking them up. So this is where you do your key mappings and everything else. And legitimately, after all this is said and done, you get out of it. I would recommend totally after you do it or even just before you do it, go into training. Go to freestyle and go test it. See how it operates for you. See if it works well. See if it's good. See if it's bad. See what, what modifications you need to make simple as that i mean i don't think i can make this tutorial any better than what it is but as you can see on as you see all the little dots and everything all the little buttons just being clicked on the side everything works in the controller and it works really well it actually does work really well i wish there was an emulator that did not have to do this because 
I know that on the phones in particular, there is a gamepad, a gamepad setting. But even but on an emulator, it don't see a gamepad. The emulator does not see the gamepad internally in the phone. I don't know how that works. Don't know why. But so we have to go with the key mapping scenario. But otherwise, it works really well this way. And I'm hoping that maybe some someone gets good information out of this. Take a look at it. And this way you could play Del May Cry basically on the big screen on your computer system. I would hope that in the future, kind of like games like Genshin Impact and such, that maybe this will get ported to a actual console or Steam. Because, I mean, Mega Man X Dive, if I'm not mistaken, that was ported over to Steam and it's made by the same people. So, I mean, I would see, you know, maybe six months to a year down the road that they'll actually make a PC client. And that would be really fucking cool. But for right now, there is the ability where you've seen right here of doing it through emulator. So dig with this information you can, guys. Sorry that it's a short tutorial. Um, any questions or anything when we do on live streams, just go ahead and ask me because that's how we do our live streams and I can stop what I'm doing if necessary and try to explain better if there's something in particular that you need to know. But just a rough, rough, just a rough little run around. Hopefully this helps. So yeah. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. And I will go ahead and catch you on the flip side. Peace.